चलो लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ इन इक्वेशन पहले हमको यह समझना है कि इक्वेशन और इन इक्वेशन में डिफरेंस क्या है सी अगर हम तुमको बोले कि x माइनस टू इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो यू कैन सॉल्व दिस यू विल से दैट x क्या है टू है राइट सो यू आर गेटिंग अ पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू इन केस ऑफ एन इक्वेशन अगर मानो हम तुमको दिए है कि x माइनस टू इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो ग्रेटर देन जीरो इसमें वॉट यू विल राइट इट एज एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन टू एक्स दो से ज्यादा अभी इसमें और इसमें डिफरेंस क्या है वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस वन एंड दिस वन इट इज एन इक्वेशन दिस वन इज एन इन इक्वेशन इक्वेशन में हम लोग को क्या मिलते हैं एक पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू विच विल सेटिस्फाई दैट इक्वेशन यू सी अदर देन एक्स इक्वल्स टू टू देर आर नो वैल्यूज विच विल सेटिस्फाई दिस इक्वेशन बट इन इक्वेशन में होता क्या है हेयर एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन टू इफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन टू तब क्या होगा एक्स का कोई भी वैल्यू ले लो दो से ज्यादा दो से ज्यादा कोई भी वैल्यू ले लो इट विल सेटिस्फाई दिस इन इक्वेशन इज इट क्लियर so that is the difference between an equation and an in equation equation may we always get a particular value in equation may we always get a set of values is it clear in this case x do se zyada x is more than 2 so where it will end it will end at infinity so here we will write that x is greater than 2 but less than infinity is it clear so this is what is your in equation is all about have you understood this much now suppose if i tell you x is less than 2 x 2 se chhota agar x 2 se chhota hai to ye khatam kahan par hoga ye jayega kitna dur tak minus infinity tak so it will be what x is greater than minus infinity but less than 2 is it clear okay now suppose i have given you say for an example if i give you x minus 2 into x minus 3 is equals to 0 and if i ask you to solve how i will do you will straight away write that x is nothing but 2 or 3 because this factor will be individually equals to 0 which gives you x equals to 2 when x minus 3 is equals to 0 it gives you x equals to 3 is it clear so these are the two values which will satisfy this equation now suppose if i give you x minus 2 into x minus 3 is greater than 0 it is an in equation now how to solve this so in this case somebody can do it in this way you will say sir x minus 2 is greater than 0 x minus 3 is greater than 0 see when two factors are positive and if you multiply what we get we get something which is more than zero dono positive factor ko agar multiply kare to hum logo ko kya milega positive value milega so it will be greater than zero so from here you will write what x is greater than 2 from here you will write x is greater than 3 am i correct now combining this two what you will write x do se zyada x teen se zyada isko agar hum combine karke ek in equation mein likhe to kaise likhe so you will write x is greater than 3 because x is greater than 3 will satisfy this as well as it will satisfy this is it clear so x is greater than 2 x is greater than 3 combining combiningly we can write that x is greater than 3 so x teen se zyada khatam kahan par hoga bhai wo infinity se less hoga is it clear so here x is greater than 3 less than infinity okay now somebody can say no sir x minus 2 is less than 0 x minus 3 is less than 0 in this case also it is true agar dono negative ko tum multiply karoge to kya milega you will get a product which is more than 0 so this is less than 0 this is less than 0 will also satisfy this in equation okay so yahan se hum log ko kya mil raha hai x is less than 2 yahan se hum log ko kya mil raha hai x is less than 3 right now if i combine this two in equation we are going to get what x is less than 2 is it clear less than 2 greater than minus infinity because it will end at minus infinity okay 
अभी देखो x इज लेस देन टू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस बिकॉज x इज लेस देन टू विल सेटिस्फाई दिस एज वेल एज इट विल सेटिस्फाई दिस सो दैट इज वाई कॉम्बाइनिंगली वी आर राइटिंग x इज लेस देन टू क्लियर हुआ सो so, मेरा आंसर क्या बनेगा कि x इज लेस देन टू और x इज ग्रेटर देन थ्री ओके अभी एक चीज देखो यहां पर वट डू मीन बाई दिस x इज लेस देन टू मतलब यू आर टेकिंग वैल्यूज विच आर लेस देन टू But you cannot take the value of x as two, because I have said x is less than two, not equals to two. So whenever there is no equal sign, we call that part as open. Is it clear? That is, x is greater than two and x is greater than equals to two. What is the difference? X is greater than two means all the values which are more than two. That's okay. But excluding the value two, in this case x is greater than equals to two. What do you mean by that? It will take the value two and it will take the higher values. So this is what is called your open, and this is what is called your closed. In mathematics notation, open is written in this way, and closed is given in this way. Is it clear? So from this in equations we can write finally that x. belongs to this symbol is belongs to so you will write x belongs to look at carefully open minus infinity open to or the symbol of or is this this is also called union union or you can call this thing as or so x belongs to minus infinity to both are open or 3 to infinity is it clear so that will be your final answer okay now you see in this method there is a problem what is the problem because in this problem we have taken only two factors so we have considered two cases and we got the final answer but think about it if i give you more than two factors if i give you more than two factors let us say for a, for an example if i give you this now think how many number of cases you have to consider are you getting my point tino product ka matlab tino factor ka product is more than zero now what are the cases that you have to consider lot of cases i am telling you first you will say that i am writing this thing as my first factor this is second factor this is third factor now think about it first factor greater than 0 second factor greater than 0 third factor greater than 0 tino hi agar positive hai tino ko multiply karoge to you will get a positive number okay one is less than 0 the second factor is less than 0 third factor is greater than 0 then also it is possible because when you multiply two negative factors it will give you a positive one positive into positive will give you a positive number okay similarly you find first factor is less than 0 second factor is greater than 0 third factor is less than 0 again it is also possible because ye factor negative hai ye factor negative hai dono ko multiply karoge to positive milega positive ka sath positive agar multiply karoge you are going to get a positive number similarly first factor is greater than 0 second factor is less than 0 third factor is less than 0 then also it is possible getting my point so from here you will get one conclusion from here you will get another conclusion from here another conclusion from here another conclusion then you have to combine the thing and you have to get the answer is it clear now if i give you four factors or five factors or more than five six factors then what you will do it's not possible for us to do by this method is it clear so here we use a system which is called your number line system which is called your number line method or system what is that so be now be ready with your pen and paper so make a note one by one first of all we have to understand what is number line method let us take let us let me take this example only okay x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 is greater than 0 इसमें करोगे क्या द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज यू फाइंड आउट वॉट आर द क्रिटिकल पॉइंट आई एम डिनोटिंग इन बाई सीपी सीपी इज द क्रिटिकल पॉइंट फाइंड आउट द क्रिटिकल पॉइंट हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द क्रिटिकल पॉइंट 
what are the factors you have individually you put equals to zero individually you put equals to zero so if i put x minus one is zero that implies x is one if i put x minus two equals to zero we are getting x is two and if i put x minus three equals to zero then we are getting x as three is it clear so we are getting the factors critical points are one two and three is it clear now the second step you draw a number line in the left hand side you give minus infinity and in the right hand side you give plus infinity is it clear then you put the critical points in the ascending order you plot the critical points in the ascending order on the number line so we are getting one two and three is it clear this is the second step what is the third step the third step is you always start with the right hand side from the right hand side you start you give a plus sign in the right hand side block you give a plus sign then you give a negative sign then you give a positive sign then you give a negative sign and this thing goes on first start with plus then minus then plus then minus then plus and this thing goes on is it clear to all of you okay this is the third step and the fourth step is you have to check what sign is given over here if it is greater than you choose the positive block if it is less than you choose the negative block since here it is given that greater than so we have to choose the positive block so positive block is this one and this one so put x over here put x over here is it clear and then just give this sign tuck 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 is it clear so just give this sign and you get the answer so in this case your answer will be one is less than x less than two or three is less than x less than infinity is it clear to all of you so my answer in the mathematical notation we will write x belongs to open one open two or open three open infinity that's it that's your answer is it clear now one thing you must remember that this sign never changes this sign will never change whether this is greater than or lesser than doesn't matter but this sign will never change so let me just summarize what i have done first of all whenever the in equation something like this is given to us first of all we will find out what are the critical points how to find out the critical points put individual factors is equals to zero and from there you are going to get the critical points draw a number line in the left hand side you give minus infinity and in the right right hand side extreme you give positive infinity then you plot the number critical points on the number line in ascending order third step is you start with a positive sign from the right hand side block then negative then positive then negative then positive and this thing goes on then you check what kind of sign is given over here if it is greater than choose the positive block if it is less than choose the negative block so after choosing that just write down x in those block which block you have chosen according to the sign and then just give this sign tuck 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 is it clear and that will be your final answer in that case is it clear to all of you Absolutely. Have you make a note of this?